It's like, it's like a puzzle. Look, we did it. Welcome to my very first terrarium build on YouTube. Reptiles, plants, invertebrates, etc. have been a huge passion of mine that I've been wanting to share with you guys for a long time. So we are going to be building a small terrarium inside this mini greenhouse I got to house some plants, zebra isopods, and springtails. Just want to let you guys know this is not a tutorial but a bringing you guys along for the journey kind of thing. I'm still kind of new to the hobby and don't trust myself giving out tips. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. So here is the vivarium. Yeah, it's very, it's awesome, right? I bought this small little cork bark. It's for the isopods and springtails to hang out under. Uh, I have leftover leaf litter. And I just went today and I went and picked up these isopods. And I picked up these springtails in here. So uh, these are zebra isopods, I believe, because they have like a little zebra pattern. And I am pretty new when it comes to isopods and cleanup crew and stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting into the hobby. I'm figuring things out. And these are the two plants I picked out. I, I thought they were cool. And I did put this thing here because I didn't want the water to seep in through and ruin the wood because there's no separation. This is just like straight up once you go in, that's wood if there wasn't the ceram wrap there. Anyways, I got myself some gloves because um, sensory issues and stuff. Uh, there's one here. Look, check out this rock. It has some it has some algae on it from like months ago. But I'm sure it's fine. First, we're gonna start off with our mica balls. So this is gonna work as our drainage layer. Big box of mica balls. I hope I have enough. Okay, look guys, this is a very tiny vivarium. Look, hand, vivarium, very small, very small. Okay, so here is the mic balls. Look at these things. Yay! Okay, I don't want the drainage layer to be too thick because we don't really have a lot to work with anyway, so we'll do like a pretty thin layer. Yeah, guys, this is how I'm gonna be sharing my other hobbies with you and also to start making like videos about reptiles, amphibians, and plants and, and, sh and stuff. Cause I definitely wanna do that. I don't know, is that good? Okay, I think that's fine, that's okay. Next thing we have to do is cut out, oh my goodness, cut out a little separator thing. Cut out a little thing here, just so we can separate the drainage layer from the substrate. Oh, this is so bad, this is so bad. It's okay. Oh, this is so sad. It's like, it's like a puzzle, look, we did it. Okay, next up for the soil, by the way, I hope you guys know, nothing's going in here. Like, no animals. Well, technically something's going in here, the isopods and springtails, but it's not, like, for an animal. Should we do, like, a gradient? Like, one side is higher than another. Let me bring the bucket a little closer here so I don't spill everywhere, which I am already doing, but it's okay. I hope this is enough space, because I got some pretty chunky plants. I'm sure it's fine. Maybe I'll make this side higher. I don't know what to do. I'm, like... But we need, we definitely need a thick layer of soil, mostly because the plants and stuff and the roots. Now let's work on our plants. I think that's enough soil. Let's get our plants together. I have this little tub so we don't get everywhere dirty. Just want to let you guys know, this is not a tutorial. This is just me taking you guys along as I struggle. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I kind of do at the same time. Do as I say, not as I do. Is that a thing? That's a saying. I'm, I'm sure it is. I really like this plant. It looks like a little tree, so I chose it. That took up a lot of more space than I thought it was going to. Oh, it's cute. This is our next plant. It's really cute. I'm hoping this can like act as like covering the bottom of the vivarium. Squeezy, squeezy, squeezy. Whoa, you is healthy. Pookie, your root system is no joke. It looks so good. Okay, I gotta adjust this a little bit, but I really like this. I love them. They're so they're great. They're a great couple. I it's great. It's great. Everything's great. Should this rock go like here? Rock in the back. What do we think? Next up we have is our cork. I love cork park so much. Look at that beautiful cork. Oh shit, is it gonna fit? Is that fine? Like guys, be honest. I really want a rock like here. Should the cork bark stay? I think it should stay. I like it like there. I'm gonna put a rock here maybe. Looking great. This is actually coming together way better than I expected, which is kind of suspicious, but whatever. 
Wow, but looks amazing. She says sarcastically. It's too chunky, too big to put in it like as a full one, but as small pieces, if I crunch them up, then it looks good. Oh, I have like a, I just realized, look, there's a hole in the back. I, I didn't even realize that, but that hole is where our little bugs, our little buggy friends can go hang out inside. I'll also put some food in there for the isopods, not just the leaves. This can also act as like, kind of like my culture, I suppose. Okay, let's give her a rinse. Let's give her a rinse. This is my favorite. Rinse, 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 rinse. Give a little rinse. Next is our isopods. These are uh, zebra isopods. I picked these out. I thought they were super cute and they were super beautiful. I suppose go on in. This is your new home forever and ever, and you can never escape. Oh, look at them. Look at them go. Be free, my children. Be free. Um, next up is the springtails, which are basically tinier versions of the ice. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Why does this thing not focus? Like, why are you actually so bad? Okay. Uh, you can't see them. It's fine. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, huh? There's a little guy. Look at the little guy. I made a little unintentional cave right there. So that is where the isopods can go and hide. I hope you guys enjoyed my first terrarium build for YouTube. This isn't gonna be a super frequent thing, but I do hope to get some videos out on reptiles, plants, and invertebrates every so often. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video, and I will see you guys next time.